This video is sponsored by RuneScape Manaphos. Soon, they will remember who rules Manaphos. As a part of the anniversary event, three new maps were added to Overwatch, and two of them are packed full of details that tease future content, as well as the backgrounds of some of our favourite heroes. From more information on Sombra and her mysterious conspiracy, to the activities of Reaper, Soldier 76 and Ana, these clues could show us where the story is headed next. Necropolis provided some of the most exciting information. The last we saw of Soldier 76 and Anna was in the Tracer comic last December, and although it told us they were together, it didn't tell us where they were or what they were doing. Well, it turns out that after the events of the old Soldiers comic, where 76 and Anna were reunited and confronted Reaper in Egypt, they stayed in the country and continued to monitor his activities, setting up a hidden base inside the Necropolis. Throughout the map you can see their weapons and belongings, as well as monitoring equipment. It seems that they're aware of Reaper's trip to Russia, and they also have a world map that's keeping track of his movements. The highest marker is most likely Volskaya Industries, located near or inside St. Petersburg in Russia. Below that and to the left is a mark on Gibraltar, where the recall cinematic takes place. The next one down and over to the right is in Iraq, the location of Oasis. Not somewhere that we know Reaper has visited yet, however he does have this voice line with Sombra when on the map. So what are we doing here boss? I need to pay a visit to a friend. So perhaps this is where we will see him next. The next marker down on the map is Numbani, where the Doomfist was stolen. We can't confirm that Reaper was there specifically, but he has previously tried to steal the Doomfist, and perhaps has ties to the Doomfist character himself. The final marker looks to be in California, possibly Los Angeles in particular. This is where Reaper was born and where the Hollywood map is set. Could this be where he went at Christmas? Maybe he arrived on the one day that it rains in LA. So judging by all these markers, it looks like Reaper could show up in Oasis to meet his mysterious friend. Could this be a future hero? Or maybe he has ties to the Doomfist story in Numbani. There is one other possibility for what could happen between the three old Overwatch agents. Atop the necropolis is a telescope, looking directly at the Temple of Anubis. Could this be Reaper's next target? In the Old Soldiers comic, it was implied that he was trying to find a way to access what Helix Security are protecting. We know they're guarding the temple and the god program Anubis inside, so maybe this is his next objective. Reaper mentions Sombra is assisting him in the comic, and when on the map itself, she will say, I'm going to find a way through Helix's firewalls. So it's quite possible that Reaper and Sombra are up to something in Egypt, perhaps trying to free the God Program, or maybe harness its power for themselves. Now, speaking of Sombra, we had quite a lot of information about her come to light in the second new map. The map contains Sombra's base as a spawn room, complete with loads of tech and some personal belongings. One of the items in particular is quite interesting. On the bed lies a teddy bear, which is kind of a surprising thing for Sombra to own, but even more shocking is that it appears the teddy once had the Overwatch logo on its chest. It looks either faded or peeled off, but could this imply that a young Sombra once looked up to Overwatch and its heroes? However, that's enough about the past, let's look towards the future and for any new clues on the map. Just like on Necropolis, we can see a world map, this time marked up as objectives. One is on Numbani, yet again drawing attention to the area. Perhaps with it being marked on both this and the previous map, it's a hint that something important is going to happen there soon. Also of note, the spray for the next season of Competitive is based on Numbani. So, Doomfist confirmed? One of the other markers seems to be in the northeast of China. This is unlikely to be the location of Lijiang Tower, as Lijiang City is much further away. It is, however, the area around the border with Korea, so perhaps this relates to Diva. The final marker is over the United States. It's hard to tell exactly where this marker is as it's so large, but it's somewhere towards the east coast. Next up, we have the conspiracy web, with a lot of items removed, but one new one added. The web in Sombra's origin video cuts off the top section, but on this one we can see that the Sombra logo is placed above the eye. Could this be a map showing us where the story will go next? We started off with Overwatch itself, and then the Sombra ARG told us about Lumerico and set up a cinematic on Volskaya Industries. Could whatever comes next fill in the hexagon with the logo on? The map is also filled with newspapers, reporting on the events surrounding the Sombra ARG and reveal. The headlines read Lumerico and Vishkar have reached an agreement, the Sombra Collective has disappeared, and the Lumerico CEO is under investigation. And then a second newspaper reports on a massive cyber attack on Volskaya. 
Next up, there is a computer monitor with that strange eye logo appearing once again, as well as McCree, Anna, and the Overwatch logo, as well as the Spanish word for scan. Throughout the rest of the map, we get some cool Easter eggs, like a bag of Doritos, or in the Overwatch universe, Divas, as well as some graffiti from the Los Muertos gang. The Free Pedro message most likely refers to a character from the Sombra ARG who provided the coffee machine to Lumerico. Over the other side of the map, we have the Calaveras Bar, where we saw Sombra and McCree in the Christmas comic. McCree's hat is still on the bar, and you can also see the table where Roadhog and Junkrat planned their bank heist. So what do you think about the new lore revealed for these maps? The idea of a young Sombra looking up to Overwatch is something that I find very interesting, and I really can't wait to find out what Reaper is up to next. Do you think it will be one of our theories, or do you have some ideas of your own? Let me know in the comments below. As always, this is James Fukas saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game. This video is sponsored by RuneScape Menafoss. Why do vagrants pay at my walls? Thieves pry at my coffers. And assassins hound my step. They will remember who rules Menafoss. The Golden City is yours to explore this summer.